on its way to search for life. The joint Russian and European mission begins its seven-month journey towards the Red Planet. When the spacecraft arrives in October, an instrument called the Trace Gas Orbiter will search the Martian atmosphere for methane, water vapour and other gases. The methane could have been created by life forms that once existed on Mars billions of years ago. There's also the possibility that there still might be living organisms under the Martian surface. Methane shouldn't be there in the Martian system. It should, should break up very quickly. Um, so the fact that it is there, um, and that's been shown by Curiosity and also by Mars Express, it was discovered by Mars Express, and also by telescope measurements. So we know it's there on Mars and we want to map it in more detail to try and understand where it comes from. Is it due to geological activity or is it due to life? The orbiter will also carry a high-resolution colour camera which will take detailed pictures of craters, mountains and dunes on the ground. The other probe involved in the mission, Schiaparelli, will test out a Russian-designed landing system that will be used to send down a rover in two years' time. The plan is for the ExoMars rover to drill deeper into the Martian surface than anyone has drilled before. The next much more ambitious surface part of the mission will focus on the search for possible presence of life very early in the history of Mars. Now, all the missions that have gone until now to the surface of Mars have dug in the order of 10 centimeters. We'll go down two meters. That is a big deal for possible preservation of chemical compounds. Life is more likely to exist under the Martian surface because it's shielded from the radiation from space that bombards the red planet. So if there is life on Mars, the chances are that it's to be found several metres underground. Evidence for the prospects of life has been increasing over the past few years. In a few years' time, we might have the answer to one of the biggest questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? Palab Ghosh, BBC News.